Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. Johnny Mac here, the gravy guy. In this recipe, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to make an easy Hawaiian pineapple barbecue sauce. So fire up those grills and get ready to baste, glaze, or dip. It's a very easy recipe. Round up all of the ingredients in a blender or a smoothie maker. Drop in one cup or 200 grams of chopped pineapple. You can use fresh pineapple or canned. Taster's choice, it's homemade so you can make it how you like it. To this, you'll add three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar, that's about 160 grams. Next, ketchup, or is it ketchup? Tomato, tomato, at any rate, half a cup or 125 grams. If you're not really into ketchup, you can always substitute with tomato sauce. Snag one clove of garlic and throw it on in. Moving right along with this quick and easy recipe, two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of soy sauce, regular soy. If you wanna use low sodium, you can. For a list of the ingredients in this recipe, check out the Sauce and Gravy channel cookbook, Sauces Made Simply. If you'd like a copy, I'll put links to the book on the Sauce and Gravy channel website, as well as in the description section of this video. To add some tanginess to this recipe, three tablespoons or 45 milliliters of rice vinegar. How in the world can a sauce be good without what's it sauce? Two tablespoons or 30 milliliters? It's everybody's favorite. Hang in there, just a couple more items. Cayenne pepper, quarter of a teaspoon. If you like it hotter, add more. And ground ginger, one teaspoon. Last item, arrowroot, one tablespoon. This is an extremely easy recipe. You can make it in a matter of minutes. Just throw it all into the blender. If you're using a smoothie maker, you might wanna give it a quick shake before you give it a blitz. Blend it until smooth, and then you're ready to move on to the last step. Round up a sauce pot, take all of the barbecue sauce, and dump it in. For this step of the sauce making process, you're gonna warm up the sauce to infuse flavor and activate that arrow root. Crank your burner up to medium heat, stir, and bring it to a simmer. After a few minutes, this is what you'll have. Give it a taste. You can adjust the seasoning at this point if you'd like. Add some salt, pepper, maybe more cayenne, why not? And that's all there is to it. That's how you make a delicious Hawaiian pineapple sauce made in the blender or a smoothie maker. The only thing left to do is enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. If you found this recipe helpful, hit that like button and share it with your friends. If you like sauces and gravies, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the all notifications bell to stay tuned to the latest and greatest sauce making tips and techniques. Thanks again, and remember, it's just you, me, and the sauces. Keep whisking, y'all.